Well, there's my Harley. I've had it for 11 years now. And we'll do a little walk around. Let you get a look at it. It is one beautiful machine. It's a 2000 FLHR. And it came with everything you see. Even them super trap exhaust. Except for that luggage bag. I added that. Otherwise, other than making some adjustments on the controls, the running boards, the handlebars, those are vintage 10 inch deep handlebars. I haven't done anything but in the last 11 years but have to put a battery in it one headlight and four rear tires this was a hundred and twenty four inch when I bought it it was so radical that it was hard to drive so I took it to the shop told them what I wanted it already had the big bore kit and all that in it, all the Andrews lifters and cams and valves and pistons. Well, it still got the big bore kit in it. The only thing they changed was the compression ratio from 11 to 1 down to 10 to 1. They took that big 100 millimeter Makuni off and traded me straight across for a stock carburetor and dyno tuned it for me and put uh, anti-pump up hydraulic lifters in it because those solid lifters they just didn't get it when you're riding a bike this pretty you don't pull up and want to hear the lifters rattling in it other than that I haven't done nothing but take care of it and I think I've done a good job. And I'm at the crossroads. That road there you're looking at goes up to Red Lodge, up to 212, connects into the Beartooth Highway, switchbacks up to Yellowstone Park. This way here goes down to Cody, Wyoming and it's only 12 miles from here. Well actually it's only four miles from here to the Wyoming border and this little town is basically vacant. And there you can see me in the window I think with my camera. I'm gonna shut it off now and start my ride.